My name is Jacob, Jacob Opara. I am from Kenya with a background of uh, engineer, mechanical engineering, but a big heart for social projects. When I saw the advert for Yes Initiative, I felt like this was a group of people who do something that is similar to what I'm doing, something that has a social element to it, and I felt like it's a platform that I could come and uh, share the ideas I have and also experience ideas that other people have that are not mainstream. So I felt excited. Uh, at the beginning I didn't know exactly what it was. I felt like it was a place I would come and uh, freely express what I want to do and have a people that are committed to courses that are not mainstream. So that's why I really felt that this was something that I would want to come and be part of. Wow, I mean, it's been an experience like I've never had. Uh, it's uh, First of all, the activities that I've been doing have been so transformational for me, like the, the meditation aspects of it, which are not very familiar to me. But at, during these three days, I've been able to really uh, experience stillness, a level of calmness that has made me think very clearly, very, very, very specifically about things, which I've not experienced before. Uh, something else is I've had a huge network of people that are so interested in some things that I'm doing. I've met people that uh, I am interested in things that they are doing. And I think it's, uh, it's, it's really been good for me. And um, um, uh, it, it's, it sounds sad, like the three days I've really almost done. But uh, I have really felt like uh, I can do more. That there are people who also can do more with me and I'm very excited about it. Yes, I have had, uh, I think, a favorite moment a standing out moment is I got lost when I was coming here. Uh, I, it was very funny for me and, and it's really been part of me throughout. Uh, but what I would call like a favorite moment is uh, this one of the members, one of the participants here we really had a lot of time to talk together. I really talked some really, really deep things with him and uh, I think that will be like my, 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 my moment. We really spent like, I think, about 20 hours together with him and it's been, it's nice to talk to him that way and I think we really feel a level of connection that has been instrumental for me. The message I could have for this generation or my generation is to be, to, to have a level of boldness that you are able to do things that you like, things that you want, things that you think will cause change. I would like to challenge us, especially young people, not to just be obsessed by mainstream uh, solutions that are there in the market but to to want to do something that is different and sometimes it comes at a cost sometimes it comes at um, at um, when it's, it's, it's not very easy for people to understand what you're doing but when you're able to connect the passions you have and the solutions you think that will give this world then you can make an impact my name is Alex and um, I'm from Germany from uh, close to Stuttgart uh, my background is that uh, I studied peace and conflict research for quite some time. Uh, and now more, more recently I got interested into uh, questions of sustainable living and uh, changing the world economic system to a more just and sustainable way. Because it's, well, it's quite evident that uh, it, it's not sustainable as it's functioning right now and it's not just. And Sort of everybody knows it and is not doing anything about it anyways. So yeah, that's why I would like to make a contribution, a personal one to that. And I thought the YES initiative would be a good place to start. Yeah, so what, um, what I would like to do is um, make information accessible to people. Well, um, well there's two quotes that I really like right now that I kind of like to look at every once in a while to uh, remind me to, to keep going when, when things are getting a little bit rough. And uh, one of them is from Albert Einstein. And he said, um, how, did, how did it go again? Um, exceptional mind spirits. Exceptional spirits have always encountered violent opposition by mediocre minds. So. I kind of like that, you know, when you're thinking about revolutionary things, you're definitely gonna, you know, get some opposition for that. But this kind of shows that when you're making enemies, you're doing something right. So I kind of like that, you know.